What happens to those who die before receiving baptism? And is limbo still a thing? Today, I'm Made for Glory. Limbo is something that a lot of people have heard about, not the game Limbo, but uh, that state that people in old days of the church would say, if you die without being baptized as, a, as a, an unborn baby or an aborted baby, that you would not go to hell, but you would go to limbo because there's no, you know, uh, you have to be baptized in order to go to heaven. And a lot of people have, have wrestled with this concept and struggled with it and talked about it. And really the church's teaching on this is kind of, is really fascinating because the church has never actually taught uh, the doctrine or, of, of limbo. It's kind of like a, a, a necessary sort of uh, sidelight of theology really emerging from the Middle Ages of trying to figure out, all right, we know baptism Baptism is necessary. We know baptism is essential. Jesus gave us baptism, and that's how we're united to him. So we're united to his death and resurrection. That's how we're saved. And so, uh, so with that concept in mind, what do we do with people who aren't baptized? Um, people who, through no fault of their own, people through a miscarriage, um, um, and of course now in our day we have just the proliferation of abortion. Um, so it's, it's, it's a good thing to kind of wrestle with. There's been some great um, um, insights into this. The International Theological Commission re recently came out with a document that discussed this concept. And really the main thing that, that was put forward is not limbo, because the church does, does not teach limbo, but it's this concept of hope. That what we do, if, if somebody dies without baptism, is that we entrust them to the God who loves them, the God who desires them more in to be in heaven more than we do. And I, I, always, I always say that. that's important to remember, that I want this person, I want some of my family members who have lost children, I want uh, pe people in my parish that have experienced that loss of miscarriages, those who have suffered uh, the tragedy of abortion, I want them to uh, to desire for those children, and I want those children to be in heaven. And if I want that, God wants it even more. So then what, what do we do with this concept of, of, we say, well, you need to have a child baptized. We shouldn't postpone baptism. If you've had a child, you shouldn't you should have them baptized as soon as you possibly can, um, as that, that spiritual uh, uh, strengthening to be united to Jesus at a very, very young age. Um, so it's kind of that Catholic both and, that we recognize that we both for, for those tragic losses, we trust in God, we trust and hope in his mercy and his love that while we're bound by the sacraments, God himself is not bound by the sacraments. But we also say on our part, what we are called to do is to not delay baptism, to not delay that, that gift um, to give to our children and uh, to recognize, to take seriously our obligation as parents and, and grandparents and godparents and uh, priests and everyone else to make sure that children have access uh, to the saving waters of baptism as well. So while the church, in a sense, has closed the door on the concept of limbo um, as, as a theological category, as, as sort of like a, a third option, you got heaven, you got hell, purgatory is leading to heaven, you got limbo over here, it's just a sort of nowhere place. The church has, has closed the door on that as a theological category. Um, it, it's, it, it does that in order to remind us of our call to hope, that we hope in, in the mercy and love of God, and that he has prepared a place uh, for those children Children that we've lost, and also for the parents that mourn their loss, and to recognize that for anyone who's going through a loss, anyone who's experienced that pain, that hurt, that as you pray with and for your child, and we entrust them to the Lord, to know that if they're with the Lord, that means they pray for you, and that they they they're they're hoping for you, they're rooting you on, so at the end of your life that you can be united with God and united with them forever. Hey guys, thanks for watching this latest episode of Made for Glory. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to join us in sponsoring the show, make sure you click the link to support us via Patreon.